Hello friends, in this video, let's quickly talk about how to create or automate maintenance plans. What kind of maintenance we do here? In the SQL Server, we have to prepare some maintenance plans. What exactly maintenance plans do here? Maintenance plan helps us to take a backup of the all the databases in one shot or it will help you to delete the files on a certain amount of time. Let us say I'm taking a backup of every day. So after a couple of months or couple of days, my space might over. I cannot keep on taking the backups. At a particular point of time, I need to implement a retention policy. So that time I cannot do manually. So I need to automate that. So the maintenance plan will help you to perform all these kind of activities. Not only taking the backups, not only retention policies, there are multiple options we have. We will talk about one by one. So let me create a sample maintenance plan, which helps us to create a backup of a database on a particular point of time, not only a single database. I want to take a backup of every database which are resides on the server. So today I have 10 databases. Tomorrow I might get some more databases. So let us say I have uh, um, today, like I'm, I'm not sure because I, I need to think little broader way. Okay. So today I have uh, like initially it's a new server, assume it's a new server. So I have uh, uh, four databases, assume it. Okay. So tomorrow I might get some more databases like this. So today I have four databases. So tomorrow, like maybe after a couple of months, I might get one more database. So I, I, this database also should be backed up by default. So I should not ask my developer to cross verify at least either backup is happening or not. It should work automatically. So not only after four months, after four years, also the database should happen. Backup should happen. Okay. Even the retention policy also should work as it is. So without any second thought. So that time I need to implement, I need to implement a maintenance plan. So which automatically works. I don't need to specify the database name here. I don't need to specify uh, the uh, again retention policy for the new databases, which are, which might come in the future. Okay. So this automatically takes care of taking backups or applying retention policy on the upcoming databases. So that is the advantage of maintenance plan in a SQL server. And, and you do not need to specify any instructions to implement a, uh, like a naming convention and all. It automatically creates a database backup with a date and some milliseconds as well. Okay. So let's quickly open a SQL server management studio. Okay. So this is a SQL server management studio. So to work with a maintenance plan, the prerequisite is SQL server agent should be in running mode. SQL server agent should be in running mode. Also, the maintenance plan internally creates SSI package, which hosts in the SQL server and it ties to the SQL server agent. So this maintenance plan, SSI package and agent both are clubbed here. So do I need to know SSI development to create a maintenance plan? No, you do not need. So it's, it's a, it's a very easy provided by the SQL server management studio. So let's quickly expand the management. Under the management, you have a maintenance plan. So please remember that. So you should have a proper privileges to create a maintenance plans. You cannot create a maintenance plans with a read only privileges. You should be an admin on the server. Okay. So let's click on the, uh, let's expand the maintenance plans. So do you have any maintenance plans here? Currently? No. Okay. Uh, it's an empty maintenance plan folder and how many database I have. I have around some 10 plus databases, including system database of around four. Okay. So now let's simply right click on the maintenance plan, click on new maintenance plan. So it, first of all, it asks for the maintenance plan. So without showing anything, it asks for the maintenance plan. Ideally you should give, be giving a meaningful name. So I am, I'm, I'm going to give SQL uh, DB backup, backup plan. So just give a meaningful name. So whatever the name you want, it's up to you. Okay. So once you, uh, uh, give a name, it opens a window like this. 
So if you really see this, this window looks like a SSIS window, but it's not a pure SSIS window. And if you see in the left side, you have a couple of uh, tool, the one toolbox under a couple of controls here. So maintenance plan task. So you can perform these many operations. So you can take a backup. So you can check the database integrity. So you, you can uh, do the execute SQL um, server agent job task and you can do the sync. You can update the statistics. You can reorganize the indexes and all you can do it. Okay. So let's quickly take a backup database task here. Simply drag and drop. It's a very easy. It's a very easy. You do not need any. You do not need to know any specific stuff here to drag and drop. So let's minimize this simply. Okay. If you really remember it here, I'm not going to specify specific database name. I want to take a backup of every database. So maybe today I have 10 tomorrow. If it becomes 20, it automatically generates. That's my intention. So where do you want to generate? I want to keep it in a folder. I just created for time being in the backups folder. I want to create it. So just create a specific folder and copy that path. You may need to specify that path somewhere here. Let's come here. So let's double click on the task simple configuration you need to do it it's a very easy configuration so backup type do you want to take a full differential or transaction log it's up to you we will talk about what is differential backup and transaction log backup later so like how many database do you want all the databases or any specific databases so currently i have these many databases so you want to select specific database you can select it but if you simply select a database now tomorrow if somebody adds a new database it won't come under backup 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 plan so there's a reason why better in the real time. Let's select all databases until and unless you have a specific requirement. Okay. So do you want only system database? You can select here. So do you want all user database excluding master and all? You can select here. Or if you want any specific database, you can select here. Also next option is ignore databases where the state is not online. Yes, there are a couple of scenarios where your databases might be offline due to some reasons. So that might be intentional or like some three, some reasons. So if database is offline, we do not select this option while creating a maintenance plan. So backup plan might fail. So there's a reason why if it is not online, you can simply skip that. Okay. So let's select this and click on okay. And where do you want to keep? So do you want to put it in a disk or tape or URL? Ideally we go over a disk. Next destination here. Second option is destination. So where do you want to put? So by default, it gives you some program files uh, path. I do not want to do that. So as I created a specific folder for me, so please do not keep um, the backup uh, path where you have software installed. Let's keep a separate uh, folder for backups, keep a separate folder for software installation. Okay. So now I created some F drive, not a C drive next. So do you want to create a subdirectory for each database? Of course. Yes. It's very easy for me to manage as well. Let's click on that. So what is the backup file extension? back it, it's a known thing to everybody so this is a one option we need to set up here next go to options here so do you want to uh, set the backup compression use a default server setting backup set will expire at what time like you want to make it stop something like that i do not want to do it because since i am in the real environment in the production environment i want to run forever okay let's keep on destination nothing this is the options we set up in this and click on you want to see the sql query what what is the queries internet prepares you can click on beauty sql otherwise you can simply click on okay so once you click on okay so all options are set up at what time do you want to schedule this task so you have an option here schedule so here this is a place where you need to set up a scheduling time at what time either morning evening or night at what time you want to run it's up to you let's select this so if you see this window it looks like a sql agent window yes of course both are interlinked now so whenever you save this, it automatically creates a job in the agent by linking SSS package internally. I'll show you it saves as a SSS package. Okay. Now, but the name by default, it will come like this. And at what time do you want to run? I want to run daily. At what time you want to run? I want to run 1 AM in the early hours. So that, so by, by 8 AM or by 7 AM, everything will be ready and people start using it. So uh, start date is today and no end date. Let's go for it click on OK. Okay. So that's all about it. Let me save it. So once I save it, it creates a job in the agent. Let me click on save button. So once I click on it, it creates a job. Let's quickly go to the object explorer. Yeah. You can see one plan might have created a refresh it. Yes. This is the plan has been created. You can see the symbol and expand this and click on job activity monitor where you can see one job has been created. You can see enabled yes, status ideal 
unknown last run it is just created and last run never and next run will be 5 30 20 20 1 am so then how to can i run now i want to test it either it works or not i yeah of course you can run it so right click on it click on start so if you see this folder is empty okay so let's wait for a moment it creates a files for us so let it ah of course yes we got the files here Sit, since the size of the database are very less so it, it, it might be finishing this job in uh, minutes or seconds but if you go in the real time the backup job might run the maintenance plan might run for um, uh, like a four hours five hours six hours it depends on size of the database since uh, my database size is very less that's the reason why it simply finishing very quickly let's go to the any of the database yeah it's still create yet to create let's come here yeah the file has been created if you see the naming convention it's really intelligent name so database name underscore backup underscore date underscore some numbers so that if you run again immediately the same job just finished if you run the same job again it creates a separate file for us it doesn't override at all let's create again yeah it's running so let it run you can see here executing okay it creates a separate file if you go here it's not created it let, let's wait for a moment in every folder if you see it's very easy for maintenance that's the reason why i kept it every uh, where i have a multiple uh, let's go to the system database msdb yeah i got two files here if you see so even though you run 10 times in a single day you won't get override other file won't be overrided with the, the new file because of these numbers so they will be including seconds milliseconds and some some unique numbers will include it so that's how we do implement a maintenance plan in a SQL Server. This is really important in the real environments. So that's all about it. If you have any questions on SQL Server, DBA, and SQL Server, please don't hesitate. Please drop your question in the comment section. I'll try to answer as soon as possible. Also follow me on Facebook for more technical updates. Thank you.